five reason art videos aren't helping you improve in your artwork and what you can do to change that. Hi everyone, my name is Hillel and before we get into our topic, I just want to ask you that if you're on YouTube, like, subscribe and hit the bell for notification to know when I'm going to upload more videos. Um, everybody can help out if they want to support this channel. Check out my Redbubble. Uh, you can also follow me on LinkedIn and Facebook. And that information is up on the screen. I'll also put it in the comments below. Also, um, if you would like to be a superhero, you can uh, email me at newherocomics at gmail.com. And I, I offer a service that I will take your a couple photos of you, tell me what your favorite power is, and I'll design a costume and uh, maybe even a logo. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I'd love to do it for you. Okay, let's get to the topic now. There are five reasons that you may not be succeeding when watching art videos, even if they're really good art videos. The first of those reasons is that you may be watching too much of the video. Seems a little strange that you're watching the video to learn how to improve your art. Well, the question is, what brought you there first? What was the reason you had for seeking out that particular art video? Certainly there was a skill that you were looking to learn. Focus on that skill Find it in the art video and learn that everything else is extra. It may not help you, but instead hinder you from improving that skill that you're there to learn. The second problem you may find is that you're learning too many skills at the same time. Forget just watching one art video, but within an art video, he, the, the artist may offer you several skills in the process of developing a completed art piece of art. What you want to do is focus on one skill to learn. Again, Refer back to why you started looking for art videos in the first place. What was it you were trying to learn? That's the skill that you need to learn, and that's the skill you need to focus on. The third problem is much like the first two, and that is there's too much information. You're looking at too many art videos. You're watching too many of them at the same time. You're having uh, too many conflicting methods, and this is an issue of method. And this is uh, what will help you. If you're watching an art video, that artist has a very particular method and process they use to um, attain the results that they have. So what you really want to do is study that process and, and learn that method. And you want to watch only that process and only that method, practice it until you, either you find you can't understand it, it's not working for you, or until you've mastered it to some extent. To some extent. Then you can go on and find other skills, other methods, other techniques. So for example, and I'll give this because this may help you understand exactly what I'm talking about. If you want to flat, if you want to flat, you believe it or not, there are a lot of different techniques for how you go about flatting. And those techniques also depend on what software you're using. Sometimes a technique does not require you to have a certain software. However, sometimes different software have different methods of doing the same thing. And then to throw on top of that the artist's own peculiar method. The fourth thing that may be causing you a problem is the artists that you're watching themselves. Are they really a good teacher for you? And I don't say are they a good teacher, but are they a good teacher for you? Because an important thing to consider when you're looking for help in learning art is that every one of us has a different learning style. I have a different learning style probably from you. My son has a different learning style from me. We all have our own particular way of learning things. And we need to find out what that method is, what method helps us learn the best, and we need to find teachers who teach in that way. So when you're looking for a, a art teacher, a video to learn from, you've got to look for an art teacher who teach, teaches you in a way that you can understand. And if you can't understand that art teacher, then that art teacher is not, not for you. Even if they're an amazing artist, you have the most amazing artist and watch their video, but if they're not able to teach in a way that you can understand, in a way that you can reproduce their results, then they're not the teacher for you. And the quicker you realize that, the better off you'll be. The fifth problem is, is that when you do find a good art teacher, you may not be subscribing to their channel. Remember, it took you a lot of effort to find that good art teacher. So you want to make sure that you subscribe to them so that anything else they do in the future, you'll be there to watch because it could be that since they already taught you well the first time, they'll teach you well, they'll, they'll teach you well a second time. If you find someone who's a good teacher for you, you want to subscribe and watch everything 
and watch everything that they do and that will help you improve much quicker. So these have been five reasons that you may not be succeeding even though you're watching great art videos and what you can do about it so that you are succeeding. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you felt it, it was uh, worth your time and helpful. Um, if it is, if you're on YouTube, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you know about future videos that I put out. Um, you can also support the channel by visiting my Redbubble uh, page. Uh, follow me on LinkedIn and Facebook. And if you're interested in becoming a superhero, well, I have a service for that. And you can contact me at newherocomics at gmail.com. I'd love to help you, uh, help you do that. Once again, this is Hillel, and I hope you uh, found this useful. And I will talk to you next time.